Hey, what's up everyone? Warren Cross here, and today we're going to be going over the top 10 plyometric exercises to help you get faster. If you like the content, go ahead and click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a ton. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so here are going to be single leg broad jumps. So the big thing with this is when you're jumping, making sure that you're landing with the toes facing upwards the best you can. Make sure you're landing on the balls of your feet, which is more right here, not landing too much on your heels as you're going through the jumps. And then when you're jumping, you want to spend the least amount of time on the ground as possible as you can. You know, you're going to go for about five jumps here, and then you could land on two feet. When landing, making sure when you're on one leg, don't let those the, the knee cave in too much. You want to keep everything nice and straight as you're landing on each one of those jumps. This one is a great one for ankle stabilization. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump up and then you're just gonna turn 90 degrees. I like to have like a little small box to be able to jump into just to make sure that I'm able, I'm not going all over the place. I wanna keep myself fairly balanced as I'm going all the way through. So you go four jumps in one direction and you go four jumps in the other direction, just making sure again, you're keeping good knee stability as you're going through each one of the jumps and you're landing on the balls of your feet, not on your heels, keeping your spine up the whole time. This one's going to be a max depth jump. So what you do here is you just step off with one leg, you land with two legs, and then you're just gonna jump up as high as you possibly can. Okay, when you're landing again, keep good knee position. Don't, want, don't bend over too much with the spine. Try to keep your chest up as you're landing. And big thing though is not jumping off of the box here. You just wanna kind of step off the box, land, spend as the least amount of time on the ground as possible so you load into it here. Um, you do wanna bend your knees, you do wanna load, but you don't wanna be you know, going into like a full squat and then jumping. You wanna be able to load quick, jump all the way up. It's a plyometric exercise, which means that you're really w w working that stretch shortening cycle. This one's gonna be a lateral jump to a vertical jump. So you're going here, you're landing, and then as soon as you land, you wanna jump straight up into the air. The big thing with this is just being able to gain, again, that ankle stabilization as we're transferring one, from one leg to the, to the other. When sprinting, there ends up being a bit of a lateral motion that's happening. So this is what you're able to to build up here within this exercise, really making sure again that when you're landing, you're, you're keeping good control through the knees, through the hips, you're, you're sitting back when you're, you're landing here, not letting those knees go over those toes, keeping your chest up on, on each one of the jumps and, and really trying to get as much verticality as you can, try to get full extension through the, the ankle, and knee and hip as you're going and you're pressing off for each jump. These are gonna be bounds. So big thing with the bounds is just making sure you're getting full extension with that back leg as you're, you're coming out. I like to focus on getting a little bit more vertical when I'm doing my bounds just because I, I really like to be able to work that, that leg cycle. But you can also work on getting a little bit more out in front of you or horizontal as well when you're doing these just you know it's not a ton about how fast you're going it's really about being able to cycle those legs through get good extension on on each one of your steps and and make sure you're getting nice full arms as well as you're going through so get trying to get those elbows up and arms all the way through hands all the way through these are going to be power skips so here it's similar you're just landing you just make sure when you're laying here you're landing more on the balls of your feet and you're trying to get as much verticality as you can working your full arms and and making sure you're driving that knee all the way up as, as well as you're going out through each one of your actual steps here. And you can see how you're transitioning. You kind of land, right? So you jump off the right leg. You kind of land for a second on the right leg again. And then just transition right into the left. It really helps in being able to get that, that vertical motion. This one's going to be single leg tuck jump. So again, just trying to, to land as quick as you can. Then jump right back off the ground. Trying to drive your knee up the best that you can. Try to, to, to control where you're laying. You don't want to be going all over the place for this one as well. Make sure you're sitting back. You're not bending your knees back behind you. You just want to land and jump straight up. This one's one of my favorite ones, just alternate jumps. So you're just going and you're going to like a lunge position on, on each one of your, your jumps here. With the front leg, uh, you want, really want to make sure that you're not going too much into um, any type of the valgus again with the knee, not letting the knee come in, not letting the ankle collapse in. But the back leg, you you can allow to, to go into a little bit of you know some internal rotation. You can see there because when you push off, you a lot of times come from that internally rotated position. So it's not as bad there. Just make sure again you're keeping your chest up. You're sitting back with it with the knee here on on each one of them, and you're, you're really trying to work the arms. This is something that it, you know you should be able to do a good amount of pretty easily if you really want to be able to improve your overall sprinting. These are ankle jumps. So this is just being quick as fast as you can, just going, pushing down, bringing your toes up, pushing down, bringing your toes up. Make sure you're not leaning too far forward, not leaning too far back. Keep your core nice and engaged as you're going through these jumps. 
And then the last one is going to be the depth jump to sprint. So you land here. This one, I was a little bit staggered with the stance. You want to try to land and, and have your feet a little bit more together there. And you can see my, my knees are going to be a little bit more out in front of me when I'm, when I'm doing this, but you want to just land and right away go into accelerating and sprinting. How far you're sprinting is, is probably about 10 yards altogether. I, I don't have that, that much space here. I wanted to make sure I got everything in the camera so I didn't run that far, uh, but you get the idea where you're just going to try to land and just get into sprinting right away. Again, you don't want to jump off of it. You kind of want to just step here, land in as fast as you can get right into acceleration for your overall speed and running form. So uh, those are going to be the 10 exercises to help you get faster that are plyometric exercises to help you get faster. If you have any questions, you can always reach out, check out our seven day free trial for our speed program down below. It's going to have these type of exercises and much more to help you in improving your speed. Huge, huge benefit for anybody that's looking to get faster quick. It is just uh, called the how to get a faster 40, but I think it would be a, a great thing for really any type of runner to be able to participate in. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.